Hey y'all, Keto Chow has new products. So let's take them and let's make a Neapolitan Keto Cake. So Keto Chow asked me to partner with them and I was very honored because I've been using their electrolytes and their daily minerals and a whole bunch of stuff for a long time. They have a brand new product I wanna tell you guys about. So they're working on their Keto Chow Core line. They now have vanilla cream, both sweetened with stevia and unsweetened. They have Keto Chow Core strawberry cream, sweetened and unsweetened. And of course they have chocolate, sweetened and unsweetened. They are dairy free. They are made with beef protein. You can add your own dairy if you want. You can use the stevia sweetened ones, or if you want, you can get the unsweetened ones. And you can either add your own sweetener, or you can do it without any sweetener at all. For someone who's on a carnivore diet, if you like to be occasionally a little looser with that and have a treat, this is a great way to do it and not feel like you're really compromising a lot by eating a bunch of junk. If you're someone who does loose kind of carnivore just in general, you might actually already do stuff like this. Either way, Keto Chow has some great products. If you're keto, you probably know what they are and you probably love them because I know Ash certainly does. Why not take chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla and let's make a Neapolitan keto cake. Let me show you how we do it. All right, y'all, this mixture is from my carnivore birthday cake recipe. I'm going to link that video below. I have taken the yolk mixture from that recipe and split it into three bowls that we're going to turn into strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I have one pack of each of the Keto Chow Core. These are sweetened with stevia. I'm also going to add a little bit of instant decaf coffee to the chocolate. It just supports the chocolate flavor. So in each of these bowls, we're going to put one packet of Keto Chow. You don't have to use this much. You can use more. It's more about texture than it is how much Keto Chow you're using. That just has to do with how strong of a flavor you're going to get. So I've got one package of strawberry in one third of the yolk and cream cheese mixture from that recipe linked below. Then I'm going to put chocolate in this bowl and I'm going to put vanilla cream in this bowl. So far, so good. We're gonna mix these up really well now. And I have my whipped egg whites standing by. I'm also going to grab a little bit of red food coloring. Now, if you are worried about food coloring, don't worry about doing this. I'm just doing this so you can see the difference between the strawberry and the vanilla because the color that comes from the beet powder that is used in the keto chow, which is what's listed in their ingredients as the beet extract, the color is very, very light and you're gonna have a hard time seeing it on camera. So you don't have to do this. I'm gonna add just a little red food coloring so you can tell which one is strawberry. I'm also going to add just about a teaspoon of dry coffee to the chocolate. You don't have to do this, but it does support the chocolate flavor. It's really nice. Now we just need to mix these up really well and they're all gonna be very thick. As I'm mixing, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of cream to each. You just need to get this back to a cake batter texture. So I'm going to use about three tablespoons of cream and then right around a quarter cup of water to mix in with this to turn this into more of a cake batter. And you'll see that texture come together. And this is that cake batter texture we're looking for. Now we're gonna do the same for chocolate and vanilla.
Next, I'm gonna take one third of my whipped egg whites and I'm gonna split that one third into thirds and mix it in with these three bowls. And you can be fairly aggressive with this first third of the egg white mixture. So I'm gonna put it in all three bowls roughly. This is not an exact science. And I'm going to use the whisk and just stir this in really well. When all the white lumps and streaks disappear, you can move on. Now we're gonna take the other two thirds of the egg white mixture, split it amongst the three bowls, and use a spatula or something else to gently fold this in and preserve as much of that whipped air as we can. Now we take a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. And we just need to pour some kind of a pattern of our three flavors. Now we just smooth out the mixture. Just don't overdo this because we don't want to mix all of these flavors. We just want to smooth it out so it bakes evenly while still keeping all of our separate sections. Now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how long your oven takes. While the cake is baking, we're gonna take eight ounces of softened cream cheese, eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of allulose. You can sweeten this to taste. Whatever sweetener you want and however much you wanna use, I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of allulose. And about a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix this together really well and try to whip air into it to make it light. Add the mascarpone cheese and do the same thing. Now we stick this in the refrigerator to solidify. Once the 20 minute timer goes off, we're gonna check the cake. It's firm and puffy, but it feels just a little soft, so I'm gonna use a toothpick to test it. The toothpick will come out clean if it's done. This one is just about there. There's just a tiny little bit that came out with it. So I'm gonna give it two more minutes and call it good. In two more minutes, it's time to take the cake out. And that looks beautiful. It's nice and puffy. Now it is going to fall some as it cools, but that's totally normal. And that's actually gonna make it easier to roll. Set this on a cooling rack and let it cool for three to five minutes so you can handle it. Set up a clean kitchen towel. Once it's cool enough to handle, flip it over upside down on that kitchen towel and gently peel your parchment paper away from it. While this is still warm, we're gonna fold the end of the towel over and we're going to gently roll. Roll tightly, but not so tightly that you cause the cake to break. Place this on the cooling rack and let it cool the rest of the way in this rolled up position. Right here I have four tablespoons of allulose and I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of water. Cook this over low heat until it turns clear to make a simple syrup. Once it's clear like water, we can use this to brush on our cake. After our cake is cooled, we're gonna unroll it. Gently pull this off the towel. 
Poke a bunch of holes in the top surface of this with a fork. Do not stick all the way through, just poke through the very surface of it. Then we brush our Keto Simple Syrup over the top. Now we take our chilled cream filling and we add it to the cake. Now we're going to spread this to cover about two-thirds of the cake, but don't go any further because this is going to squeeze forward as we roll the cake. Now we're going to gently roll the cake up. And place it on a baking tray to put it back into the refrigerator to chill for a couple of hours. After a couple hours in the fridge, we are ready to slice this chilled roll cake up. Gently move this to a cutting board. Use a nice sharp knife and gentle pressure when cutting. And enjoy how beautiful that cake is. Let's plate this up and let's get Ash to try it. All right, y'all, Ash has agreed to be our taste tester tonight for the Neapolitan Keto Chow Cake. What are you, what are you thinking? This looks amazing. I can't wait to dive in, honestly. And she's had other versions of this, both savory and sweet, that I've made for her. I, I have, and I've had some Keto Chow products, and I am a big fan. Um, always a big hit with me. Oh, good Lord. Wow, it's really, really good. Has you chew, get the chocolate and the strawberry and the vanilla, super good. Oh, it's very soft, very spongy. Um, the cream is really good and soft too. This, this tastes super good. This honestly tastes like something I would have eaten like out of a, like, you know, a store. Like if you went to their cake section and got something and it's, it's really good, great texture, great flavor. It doesn't taste like egg or anything like that. Like a lot of those kinds of things. It's basically tasting like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, like a Neapolitan. I mean, that's, that's what it tastes like. So good. Two thumbs way up, sir. Way up. Tristan, how's the Neapolitan cake? Um, it's fantastic. It tastes like Neapolitan cake. It's um, it's spongy in a, in the best way possible. It's creamy, so it's just rich and decadent. Right now. All right, y'all. There's the Neapolitan Keto Chow cake. Keto Chow, thank you guys so much for sending me the products to try. We love them, we love what you guys do, we love all of your stuff. I'm getting low on some electrolytes, so I'm gonna have to order some more from you guys, but I love what you do, we appreciate you in this space. All of my links are down below, also my Keto Chow links are down below. There's a brand new Keto Chow link you can use, and there's a discount code down there, you can go down there, order yourself some Keto Chow. Whether you wanna do the sweet stuff because you're on keto and you wanna do like the shakes, whether you're a carnivore that likes to get a little loosey-goosey and you wanna try some of these kinds of things, you can now get those sweetened or unsweetened versions of that and do it the way that you want. And you know what? If you're a totally strict carnivore and the only thing you wanna try is some of those electrolytes, well, they have the best quality of those that I've had too. So they've got a little bit of something for everybody in these low carb diets. Thank you so much, Keto Chow. Thank all of you for watching. All of my stuff is down below. I love you guys. Eat your meat, sometimes your Keto Chow. Love your life. And I'm gonna see you guys in the kitchen for the next recipe. You can just leave this here with me. I don't even have a fork, that's how good it is. <laughs>